Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Duffy pushes FAA to roll out retirement delaying ATC bonus. First successful piloted flight by Vertical's VX4, EVTOL. SpaceX Starship 9 undertakes test flight with mixed success. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Duffy pushes FAA to roll out retirement delaying ATC bonus. As the air traffic controller shortage trudges on, the U.S. Department of Transportation is rolling out even more financial incentives to encourage experienced controllers to remain on the job beyond retirement age. The latest offer is a 20% annual bonus. The FAA has been putting in the work to increase the number of fully certified controllers. In the meantime, however, retaining the experienced personnel already on staff is essential. Duffy stated, quote, I think what is key is offering a bonus to air traffic controllers who are eligible to retire. We're going to pay them a 20% bonus on their salary to stay longer. Don't retire, end quote. The controller shortfall has been years in the making. Aging infrastructure, slow hiring processes, and a lack of investment in training systems have led to chronic understaffing across the U.S. To address the shortage, the FAA has rolled out multiple incentives across the board. New hires will receive $5,000 bonuses after completing initial qualification training, and up to $10,000 if they are assigned to facilities with particularly high staffing needs. The agency is also expanding opportunities for veteran military controllers and streamlining the previously cumbersome hiring process from eight steps down to five, cutting months off the timeline. After the break, Hermia's Quarter Horse Mark I flies at Edwards AFB. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Hermia's Quarter Horse Mark I flies at Edwards AFB. Hermia's confirmed the flight of its Quarter Horse Mark I aircraft at the Air Force Test Center at Edwards AFB, a significant step in the company's pace of high mock and hypersonic aircraft development. Development of the Quarter Horse Mark I went from clean sheet to flight ready in just over one year, demonstrating its rapid pace and advancing the mission of Hermia's to make hypersonic flight operational. The test campaign was focused on validating high-speed takeoff and landing a large, uncrewed aircraft. ASA releases seaplane rating field guide. ASA has released the brand new Aviators field guide to the seaplane rating. It's Bill Young's new practical blueprint for aspiring pilots that contains details students need to know to earn their airplane single-engine sea rating. The guide is designed to be used before and during training. It provides a curriculum of flight and ground lessons, oral exam prep questions and answers, as well as a focus on safety through the use of scenario-based training and the use of checklists. Airbus gets order for 20 A330neos from Vietjet. Airbus announced a new order from Vietjet, Vietnam's largest private airline, for 20 wide-body A330-900 aircraft to facilitate its expansion over the coming decade. The signing agreement was held in Hanoi, with the honors done by Walter van Versch, president of Airbus International, and Wen Tai Phong Tao, chairwoman of Vietjet. Observing the signing were Vietnamese President Luong Kong and French President Emmanuel Macron during an official state visit. Woman caught with 150 pounds of cannabis at SFO. A woman from Southern California has been charged with two felonies after she allegedly attempted to smuggle more than 150 pounds of cannabis onto an international flight at San Francisco International. Prosecutors in San Mateo County allege that 34-year-old Diane Balawan of Glendale was caught with the cannabis while preparing to board a United Airlines flight to Frankfurt, Germany at around 5.15 a.m. on May 6th. 
That's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. First successful piloted flight by Vertical's VX4 eVTOL. Vertical Aerospace announced that its VX4 eVTOL performed its first successful winged flight with a pilot at the controls, marking the first piloted wingborne flight of a winged eVTOL in open European airspace. The flight, piloted by Chief Test Pilot Simon Davies, came on the heel of approval by the UK's Civil Aviation Authority, or CAA. The aircraft took off from and landed on a runway at Cotswold Airport like a conventional aircraft with all lift generated by the wing. It performed as expected, demonstrating controlled flight. In addition, 30,000 in-flight data points and perimeters were collected. With this flight, Vertical is poised to complete piloted transition flight later this year. Test Pilot Davies said, quote, Taking the aircraft beyond the airfield and cruising over the Cotswolds for the first time was truly special and a career highlight for me. There are aircraft which are safe and capable, but not always enjoyable to fly. The VX-4 was not only safe, but was an absolute pleasure. It is responsive, smooth, simple to operate, and the sound level from the propellers is quiet and pleasant in the cockpit. An honor to fly and a real testament to the incredible team behind it." End quote. After these messages, SpaceX Starship 9 undertakes test flight with mixed success. Looking for a new generation of proven and efficient aviation power plants that boast modern engineering, electronic ignition, and both direct and gear drive systems? With 100 horsepower to 240 horsepower, the Skyline and Redline engines offer uncommon value in an overpriced industry. Whether you are looking for fixed wing or rotor, MW Fly Americas has been established to service the American market with dedication and expertise. MWFlyAmericas.com the legendary BD4C program is building an exciting future for those who want a rugged four-seat family flyer with a proven history. The SureWings program produces a complete kit and builder assist program that gives you everything you need to be flying a BD4CS in record time. For conventional kit builders, BD Aviation has parts, partial kits, and full kits for the 190 mile per hour BD4C that has logged thousands of hours. Visit SureWings.com and BDAviation.com for more details. Welcome back. SpaceX Starship 9 undertakes test flight with mixed success. SpaceX launched its ninth flight test of a complete Starship vehicle nearly on time after a few minutes of holds before getting a move on. This was a far tougher flight test than previous missions, especially for the booster, which was subjected to some aggressive and adverse test conditions, which it did not survive before its scheduled landing in the Gulf. This was the second flight of the booster, it having been caught by the chopsticks mechanism back at the seventh launch, and its sacrifice this time around was intentional. An attempt to deploy Starlink satellite simulators went awry when the deployment mechanism failed as well. The upper stage fared considerably better than it has the last two launch tests until its attitude control failed as a result of fuel venting, resulting in something of a zero-g spin. This condition canceled a number of other tests, including a Raptor engine relight in vacuum. The flight test included several experiments focused on enabling Starship's upper stage to return to the launch site. A significant number of tiles had been removed from Starship to stress test vulnerable areas across the vehicle during re-entry. Multiple metallic tile options, including one with active cooling, were to be tested. The venting ultimately resulted in full loss of attitude control and the inability to control the re-entry of the vehicle to its planned splashdown in the Indian Ocean. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.